to the point that some of it is actually even sold. Speaking at the conference, John Kabuye, Vice Chairman Kenya Green Building Society, noted that there has been a steady growth in the uptake of green technology in the construction industry. Uh, what I can say right now is that green building is still in its uh, novice, uh, novice uh, stages, but then it's picking up very fast and very quickly. What I can say, I can actually confirm that with the number of uh, green buildings uh, registered, I mean projects actually registered to be certified as green buildings through the various international standards that uh, we are currently uh, we currently know for example like green star and uh, lead which stands for leadership in energy and environmental design so uh, based on our records at the Kenya green building society we have a growing number of our projects which are actually being uh, registered and we believe slowly by slowly actually uh, the green building uh, movement is catching up more and more people want to build green because they want to have more responsible buildings, buildings which are much more responsible to the environment as well as to the climate because we're in an era where we are experiencing a lot of our climate change. Now most of us definitely know this. However, there is still a long way to go since the building industry does not take into consideration resource efficiency and resource regeneration. Uh, our current housing uh, delivery system doesn't take into consideration resource efficiency and uh, resource regeneration. What do I mean by those two terms? Resource efficiency means using less of the resources that we are available to us to actually use in developing buildings. And uh, resource regeneration means that how do we take the resources that we've already used to come up with the buildings to regenerate? Uh, and, uh, and, make, and make them uh, regenerative. For example, how do we look into uh, the climate or uh, how do we get in uh, things like solar photovoltaics? How do we use what we call our waste into materials that we can actually uh, reuse or we can actually recycle or we can actually resell and uh, we get money which helps us to actually run our places. So in other words, when we repurpose what was previously waste, we're actually regenerating some material. Instead of it being dumped, we're actually reusing it, giving it some extra life and extra purpose for some money. Or for them to, get to this end, Kennedy Tembo, technical manager after sales Robert Botch East Africa, said the government equally has a role to play, stating that it could introduce tax incentives to promote the use of green energy. The first, is, uh, the first incentive which the government can offer is to to fully exempt duty and VAT on any energy, any renewable energy generation method or technology. And this includes solar thermal, solar voltaic, or wind energy, or any other renewable energy source of technology. For example, we are in this However, for any city or country to go green, Kabuye pointed out that there must be a behavioral shift in its dwellers. One of the key things that we need for us is uh, a behavioral change. Behavioral change where people actually accept to live within their means and to be much more environmentally conscious. And that will mean that people will be more responsive instead of uh, being uh, reactive. In other words, they'll be more responsive towards the environment. They want a cleaner environment. They want uh, better places, healthier places, places where they can actually live, work and play. So once we have that, uh, once we have this behavioral change, you will see them actually adopting uh, this green building principles that we are actually talking about. And once they adopt them, you'll see tremendous improvement in uh, the kind of uh, living spaces and playing spaces and working spaces that we currently have in Nairobi and we'll have a much more greater, smarter and better cities for us in future. So imagine a difference of in 2010, the government passed a law that required all buildings that use over 100 litres of water to be fitted with solar power for water heating. The implementation of the law began last year. This is hopefully one of the many steps the government is taking towards a more sustainable housing future. For Brand Plus TV, Amundiro Oganga. District system where you have uh, a master plan area.